I was leading one of my tours, and I witnessed this one personally. I was standing behind the fella as he took a picture of the house. I watched his screen. He had lined up the entire building. And when he took the photo, the image that came back was very different. It took me a second to realize what I was looking at. It was like a, a square within another square. And I realized that when he took the photo that it had automatically zoomed in on uh, a stained glass window in the middle of the top of the tower on the house. So I I asked him, I said, what happened there? And he told me, he said, well, I, I lined up the shot. I, I don't know why it zoomed in. So I said, well, why? You, I mean, maybe it was just a malfunction on the camera. He's like, no, no, it was a DSLR camera. It had the professional lens sticking out of it. And he says, it's not an automatic lens that you have to physically touch that lens to zoom it in and out. But it zoomed in on its own. He never touched it. So there's a good example of how this this house tends to reach out to the cameras to for the ghost to make itself known. But on another occasion, I did have a skeptic in my group. Now, I, I love it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, skeptics are welcome. I'll, I'll put a sign on my back just to say that because I need people to know. If you don't believe in ghosts, who cares? You come to these tours, you hear a ghost story. Everybody loves a good ghost story, whether you believe it or not. And that's how I see it. So when there's a skeptic in my group, if I'm mingling with them at the beginning, I just for fun, I'll ask, you know, who believes, who is not sure, and then who's completely skeptical. If somebody actually is brave enough to put up their hand to tell me they're a skeptic, I'll, I'll pick on them for a little bit, but just for fun. Just for fun, right? So I'll ask them, why why don't you believe? I'll tell them stories of like, did I make you believe? And the answer is usually no, <laughs> but I'm fine with that. So I was doing that at the beginning of one of my tours. This is going back a couple years ago. And this this guy, and he had this beautiful camera that had the, um, the flash, like the professional flash sticking out the top. And he said, no, I'm a skeptic. Um, but, you know, I, I love ghost stories. I love history. So I want to come on the tour. But then we get a little back and forth. He started making fun of it a little bit. It's like, no, nah, yeah, no, ghosts aren't real. And he laughed about it. So I just let it go. It was fine. And uh, I started doing the tour. So we get to the uh, Victorian house. And uh, people are taking a bunch of pictures. And I usually play around with that. I was like, oh, did anything happen to cameras? And I say, if... Uh, you know, it's if something does happen, it's a very powerful experience. If something doesn't, I look like a complete tool. Usually gets a laugh. And then uh, I, that was the end of that stop. Nobody said anything. Every, when I asked, did something happen to the cameras? They, they told me no. So I was like, okay, this is another one of those calm nights. So I end the stop. I'm heading down towards the gazebo. And as I'm walking, the guy from earlier, the skeptic, he runs up to me and he says, Daniel, Daniel, look what happened. And he shows me his camera. Now, I didn't really see it at first, but he uh, shone a light. It's uh, towards the top. There's a uh, battery level on the flash. So that professional flash had its own separate battery pack. And he said, look, it's it's empty. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, well, what, what happened with that? And he's, he said, I charged this. Those were completely charged at the beginning of the tour. So I tell him, I said, okay, this has happened before, not with the flash pack, but usually with the camera itself. I said, uh, let's walk past the house and I want you to check it in about 15, 20 minutes and see if it's come back to its original level. This is the weirdest part. And guess what? It did. So I don't know. I didn't, uh, he took off um, after the tour was done. I didn't get a chance to talk to him. I had somebody else talking to me. I wanted to ask him. I said, okay, are you a believer now? Is this something that uh, will stick in your mind as a true ghostly experience? But sadly, I didn't get a chance. So if by chance, sir, you are listening to this podcast right now, shoot me a message. Let me know. Are you now a believer in the paranormal?